There was some action today in the last stage of the Pyrenees. Before the rest day, the riders felt a sense of anticipation. Valverde, Schleich, Van Garder and Quintana all tried, but despite his isolation, Chris Froome managed to resist. While Richie Port cracked, the overall leader responded to each attack and left his rivals armless. New battles in altitude will come next Sunday in the stage to the Mont Ventoux summit. Team Sky as a whole shouldn't tremble, but Froome would better be strong, because any failure would be an opportunity for his opponents. The menu of today's stage is harsh with five climbs, the Porte d'Aspect, Monte Perso, through legendary ascents of the Tour, followed by the Val Louron Pass and the Orquette dans six ans. A very lively stage with many attacks from the start, those who lost a lot at the GC yesterday all attack, TJ van Gouder and Andy Schleck, for instance. The battle is fierce between the main contenders too. Christopher Froome is constantly challenged and loses his teammates one by one. Even Richie Port, who has been so brilliant yesterday, is dropped in the Perso descent. In the front, a group of seven men lead the way. Pierre Roland, Romain Bardet, Jacques Merlins, Ryder Esdal, Bart de Clark, Thomas de Gang, Simon Clark ride together, but they are caught in the Orquette dans six ans, where everything can change. Quintana and Valverde can count on their Movistar teammates to help them control. But Quintana's rare attacks don't undermine a lonely Chris Froome. The outsiders make their way out of the pack. Dan Martin and Jakob Fugelson are the most efficient and start the descent towards Bagnard de Bigor. At the end of the stage, the yellow jersey group tries to catch the frontman unsuccessfully. The two hang on, and in the final sprint, Ireland's Dan Martin is the fastest. The peloton arrives 30 seconds later. I knew the, I knew the last 30 kilometers quite well from, uh, from, from before. and Yeah, I was lucky that Jack and Jakob came with me because they... Uh, I don't think one guy would have survived alone, so, and he was super strong as well, so... Yeah, I was yeah, very grateful for him to ride in foot. Like, we were both just going, giving it everything we could, and then uh, obviously to play at the stage at the end. And... The stage result doesn't impact much the general classification, as Chris Froome retains his lead, 1 minute 25 seconds ahead of Alejandro Valverde. Richie Port, who cracked, leaves the top 10. Alberto Contador is 6th, Dan Martin jumps to the 8th position, followed by Joaquin Rodriguez. After the five kings of mountain of today's stage, the riders will get a well-deserved rest day this Monday. They'll travel to Brittany where they'll find a completely different scenery for Tuesday's stage between Saint-Gilda-des-Bois and Saint-Malo.